Today I'm going to be showing you guys how we can make the AI blend effect. So the first thing you're going to do is to open up a website called kyber.ai. I'm going to be linking it in the description so you guys can uh, go find it. You're going to be importing the clip you want to have the effect on. So you're going to go up here to create video. And here you can choose between different video types and we're going to be using the transform video style. And here you're going to be importing your clip here. After that you're going to be clicking edit your prompt. And uh, I'm going to go with a kind of a spacey galaxy style here for this effect. The prompt I'm using is basically space style here. This is a very simple prompt here and you can make it much more detailed. Uh, but for this tutorial we're going to make a blend effect so it doesn't need to have that much uh, details in it. And after that you are going to be selecting a style here. So it says in the style of and here you can choose like inbuilt styles uh, to the website. And we're going to be using the enter galactic one. And then here we're going to press video settings. And for this setting here we're going to set the evolve to 10 to the maximum. So this is going to look pretty crazy when we get it, but it's going to turn out very, very clean. When your preview frames has like rendered, it's going to look something like this here. This looks very, very crazy and trippy, but uh, it's going to work very, very good with our effect here. If you're satisfied with the preview here, press create video. And now it's going to be loading for a bit here. Clip is looking something like this here. We're going to be upscaling this clip now to 180p. If you haven't paid for Kyber, you can just download and get the default resolution instead. Now, if you have upscaled it, you can download it now. Now you're going to be importing your original clip to After Effects. And then you're going to be importing your Kyber clip you downloaded. And try to match the scale with the two clips here so they uh, look the same. After that you're going to be making the Kyber clip invisible. And then you're going to be rotor brushing out this clip here. Uh, so we're just going to affect the background of the clip basically. And if you don't know how to rotor brush, I made a tutorial on it which will be linked in the description so you guys can uh, go and uh, learn that if you don't know. So now your rotor brush should look something like this here. And if you want to copy my rotor brush settings, they are here. You're going to be pressing Ctrl D on this layer here. So Ctrl D. Drag this above your Kyber layer. And then on the layer below, delete the rotor brush effect. So now you can see the background and then you're going to make the kyber clip visible. It's going to look a little bit weird like this but we're going to fix it by adding deep glow to the kyber clip. And the settings we're going to be using is going to be 500 on radius and that should be good. After that we're going to be adding flicker to the kyber clip and we're going to drag up the random color amplitude to 1. So this is what we got now. Looks pretty cool. But we want to make this blend more with the footage so we're going to change the blending mode of the kyber clip to screen pretty pretty cool in my opinion but now you can see the yeet clip or our rotor brush clip doesn't look so like blending with the effect so we want to make this all like come together to make the whole effect blend uh, cleanly together so you're going to be duplicating this rotor brush clip here so you're going to press ctrl d and here we're going to be adding glow and i'm going to drag down the glow threshold to 30 percent and then set the glow intensity to 0.3 after that i'm going to be pressing ctrl d on the glow here drag up the radius to 300 and set the color intensity to 0.4 after that once again press ctrl d here set the radius to 0.5 and here set the radius to 600 and drag up the intensity to 0.5. This looks very weird with this drop shadow look here. So we're going to be changing the blending mode of this layer to screen as well. You can do the same method with uh, different kind of like AI looks. You can make like a lava look, you can make like neon look, you can make some water ocean look. You can make a bunch of different looks. But this is just one example and uh, this is basically the method to making it and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial feel free to check out our socials our website and yeah take care and have a nice day